Okay, so in the last video, we could see how painful it is to actually have to use Euler's method um, to step our way through a field. Um, and then the, I guess the last video we showed that it, it's very easy to get a computer to do it um, and it'll do it very quickly and nicely. So we wanna leave that to a computer, but we should be able to look at a slope field. Um, this would be for dy, this is the one we've been looking at, is equal to x minus y. And we should be able to look at the slope field. We should be able to start anywhere in the slope field and use kind of the concepts of Euler's method to find our way, um, sort of sketching our way through the field, right? So if we were to start at a point like zero two, that would be right here, we could see that the, the slope lines direct, they need to be tangent to the curve. So it tells us that as we go to the right, we should sort of follow the slope line. Then when you go a little distance, kind of reevaluate what your slope should be. You should never cross lines. So if I do this, I can see I'm running my way across a bunch of slope lines. And that's what happens when your steps are too big. We shouldn't be doing that. We should be curving with the lines. So as I get down here, I should, I should curve and never cross a line. So I might curve something like that. And then as I go a little bit further, I'm gonna curve and I can see these are starting to come up. So the key is to just actually keep taking tiny little strokes with your pencil and see that, okay, I'm approaching this asymptote right here. So I recommend real, uh, use tiny strokes and light strokes until you're confident that you have the right line and then fill it in. So as I go the other way, I have to come off of there at the slope I was heading in and I just keep taking tiny little strokes and I just make sure that I follow the curve as I take little tiny strokes up. And you can see in a matter of seconds, I have something that looks like it could be the solution to this differential equation. I could start somewhere else on the curve. Let me start over here instead. So if I start there, if, as I go to the right, I just wanna take a little strokes, follow the curve. See, I'm, when I'm between these two curves right here, I'll make sure that I'm sort of averaging the slope of the two curves or, or of the two at those two points. Remember, there's a slope everywhere. We're simply showing the slope with our slope field um, at a limited number of points so that it can, so we can actually see it. Otherwise, it's just a big swarm of little lines that we can't actually see. Okay, so that would follow the asymptote if we go to the right as we go to the left in little tiny strokes. Might pass right about there. Okay, if you go through a, a dash, it's okay as long as you travel directly with the dash. So I'm kind of going up here. Um, I shouldn't get steeper than those. So I suspect it's something, uh, maybe it curved over just a little bit further. So I'll darken in my line now that I have it. So, you know, make, maybe I should switch over to pencil node here. I do that for this last one. Okay, so I'll do the pencil and I'll go to that color. Um, so I can, let's start this time um, down here. So if I start here, I can pencil in. It's good. Oh, yes. For the pencil mode, I can see what my slope should do. Looks like, uh, actually, I don't know that I did that correctly. I probably want to get closer to the asymptote as I go. So let me switch back to the pencil. Need to go up. As I go up here, I should be following these lines and curving, it looks like slowly this way. Maybe coming in something like this. And then as I go the other way, go gently at first, it's gonna look something, oh, and then it gets steeper by the time we get down there. So my curve looks something like that. Okay, so that's a pretty good approximation. If I wanted to, I could ink over the top of it now, but I have a pretty good curve. And that's what the slope field would look like. I'm sorry, that's what the, a solution could look like. So there are an infinite number of solutions running through the slope field. Um, but if you pick a starting point, then that tells you what solution you need to work with. Um, so let's go to another one. This is y equals x over y. Um, y prime, I'm sorry, so the derivative is given by x over y, and that generates our slope field. So if I were to start out here, 
it looks like I should be heading straight up. But let me switch back to my pencil. So I should be heading straight up, but then I start to curve to the right. Something like that. And if I go downward, I should start to curve more and more to the left. Oh, that looks kind of like a hyperbola. Right, and if we go to the other side over here, looks like we should do something similar over here. And down. So just take those little strokes and follow the path. So that's probably the solution if I start over there, or pretty close to it. Um, now, it's interesting if I go up to the top, my curve should probably look something like this. Okay, so this would be maybe a different, oh, I think I went too steeply there, probably I started cutting up above the line. So I think it looks something pretty close to this. So the key is if you just take little strokes, um, you'll get pretty good answers um, for what the solution would be. Okay, so you get close to the solution, right? So that's interesting, hyperbolas. We'll understand why it's a hyperbola after we get through the next section of the text. Okay, so let me go to the next page. On the next page, oh, what do these solutions look like? Um, I'm just gonna start over here, right at that point. I should be heading this way, but then it looks like I should head up more and more steeply as I get to there. Now I'm going straight up, but then I need to start, if I keep following the path, I need to keep on going around like this, something like that. And if I keep going, now I'm going sideways. I better just keep on going. By the way, Euler's method won't work if you start at a place where the slope is infinite. So um, let me go right here. Right here, the slope is infinite. Okay, so um, using Euler's method, um, that's just no good. All right, I wanna go back to my pen pencil here. Um, there we go, and let's just keep sketching our way around. So I can, I have to, my computer model that I was working with um, had a revision to it that allowed me to go vertically, um, which Euler's method won't do. So it looks like, uh, I think I cut it a little bit too tight. Let me get my eraser out. I think I'm suspicious of what this is going to be by the time I loop all the way around. I think it looks more, oh, that's better, that's better. And then I'm going straight across. I'm kind of coming up, okay. So after a bunch of steps, I, I didn't get it exactly right. Actually, oh, I definitely didn't get it right um, because the right-hand side, let me erase some of this. Definitely, that was supposed to be a circle. And so I didn't go out far enough over here. So I got to, it's, I started coming down too quickly. I think I'm coming down more like over there. Okay, so I'm doing a reasonable job, but not a great job here. I know you all are better artists than me. That looks better actually. And I need to start to curve up and get something like that. Ah, circle, this was a circle, all right. Um, I won't grade you, uh, take off points if your artwork's no better than mine, but try to be at least as good as I am. Now this one, what, what will this slope field give me? Well, if I start, um, let's just start right here, okay? Looks like I have to go up pretty steeply at first, and then it just keeps getting steeper and steeper in its climb. I go back the other way. And there are little flat lines right on the x-axis. So that's an asymptote where they're, whenever the slope lines point at each other, um, that is an asymptote. 
So that's what would happen if I'm there. If I start it lower down, what would happen? I'd be going up something like this. I better get a little steeper here and a little bit steeper, maybe something like that. As I go the other way, it's going to fill in like this. All right. And there you have it. Oh, what do they look like? If I, by the way, if I go down here, I'm just going to put one in real quickly. It's probably not so great. I'm just going to do something like that. Um, it looks like this is exponential growth. We're going to figure out mathematically how to take this equation where dy dx is just equal to y. We're going to be able to show that that definitely is exponential growth um, using calculus and separation of variables. So that's how you sketch your way through a slope field. Um, patience, little strokes. Um, be, don't be afraid to erase, so draw lightly. And then once you look at it and you're confident that your light path is correct, um, then feel free to get bold and make it darker. Um, but there are an infinite number of solutions through every one of these slope fields. Um, you'll be asked to um, give a couple of the solutions in any given slope field. So that's a pretty quick process to sketch in a rough solution. Um, it's much faster than doing the Euler method by hand.